In this video, I'd like to talk about the math question of the day for Wednesday, May 31st, 2023. And with this problem, we are given two parallel lines with a third line intersecting them. And we need to figure out this missing angle x. So at this point, go ahead and pause the video, see if you can figure this out on your own. And when you're ready, unpause the video and we can go through this together. Now, assuming that you have attempted the problem, let's start working through this. And since we're told that the two lines here and here are parallel, and they're cut by this third line, which we call the transversal, the line that cuts two parallel lines, we can figure out what this angle X is by using the properties of parallel lines. When two lines are parallel and they're cut by a transversal, if we know one of the angles, we can figure out the rest of the angles. And let's start with this angle 56. And there are many approaches to figure out this angle X. But with this angle 56, we also know that this angle right here would also be 56 degrees. And we call these two angles corresponding angles since, in effect, they correspond to each other. For instance, this angle right here corresponds to this angle right here. And what we can also see is that this 56 degree angle here is a vertical angle to this angle X. And vertical angles, these are always equal. So therefore X, or X degrees, is 56 degrees. And we found our missing angle. Now that's one approach to start with corresponding angles and then use vertical angles to prove that they are equal. But this 56 degree angle and this X degree angle are known as alternate exterior angles. So X and 56 degrees, like I said, we call these alternate exterior angles. And we say alternate because they are on alternate sides of this transversal and they are exterior because they are on the outsides of these parallel lines. For instance, if we were looking at, let's say this angle right here, let me use a different color. We can call this angle, this blue angle here. This angle here, since it's vertical, this is also 56 degrees. This is equal to this pink angle here, this 56 degree angle. And these here are called alternate interior angles. They are alternate since they're on either side of the transversal, but they are interior since they are between the two parallel lines. So the vocabulary is relatively straightforward, but it's generally true that corresponding angles are equal, alternate exterior angles are equal, alternate interior angles are equal as well. 